Hi everyone, it's me Louis and welcome to a new video on Entrepreneur Campfire. In this video, I'm going to continue with part 2 of my tutorial series where I teach Malaysian sellers how they can set up their own online store on the Easy Store platform. If you're new to this tutorial series and you haven't seen part 1, it's in the description below. Just simply click the link and check it out. Otherwise, if you've already seen part 1, let's get started with part 2 today. In part 2 of this tutorial series, I'm going to teach you how you can create your own products on your store as well as add collections to group them together. Let's take a look at how you can do that. So if you follow through with part 1 of this tutorial series, you would have learned about all the features that Easy Store has to offer and most importantly, you would have been able to know how to set up a free trial on Easy Store or get on a paid plan with Easy Store. So once you've done that, you'll most likely end up on the same page as I am, on your own store. On this page, you'll find a quick setup guide that Easy Store has prepared to help new store owners like yourself to get the most important parts of your business set up so you can start selling to customers who come to your store. So. To add your first product, you can either click on this button here, Add First Product, or you can click. Uh, you can look to your left hand side under Products, and here you can also do the same thing. And normally, after you have gone through this quick set setup guide on a normal day, you will still need to come here to add new products. So I thought it might be just useful for me to get started with this um, conventional route instead. So once you've done that, you'll see that you have two options here for adding a new product. You can add products or import products. So which, which button should you click on or which option should you go for? So add products means adding a product one by one, one at a time, meaning filling out all the information on Easy Store yourself manually. But import products is where you will import a CSV file containing all the information about your products in one go. So adding a, a product manually is usually more time consuming. But if you have a very small store or a small collection, it, it, it is fine. But import product on the other hand is quite useful if you have a large store. Let's say you have 100, 200, a few thousand products. It's quite impossible for you to add add a product one by one and that's where import products will come in handy. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll show you how to do it manually first. Okay, so to do it manually, of course, just click on the add product button. Okay, here you'll find that um, the interface is pretty straightforward. There are a lot of fields here that you can simply fill up to give all the information about your product details as well as pricing so this product can be sold on your website. So let's take a look at all of these fields one by one and try filling them in with the details. Okay, so the first field we have here is the title. Title simply means the product title that you have. So for example, if I'm trying to sell a pair of uh, sports shoes, I will put here um, brand. Okay, the brand name, like for example, if you're selling Adidas, Nike, just put the brand name there. Okay, so brand. Uh, sports shoes okay so sports shoes and then a model number okay so that that should be it okay so it depends on what you sell so if you sell something different so make sure you give enough description in in your product title okay so description is where you give some more details about um, what what this product is um, its USPs uh, features um, anything that you think uh, customers might find important or valuable to know more about. So in this case, uh, maybe a sports shoes must be comfortable, airy. So we, we might want to write that there. Or if, if, if it has a um, specific design for specific um, sport, you might want to add that there. For, so for example, if um, this, this pair is really good for running, I'll write here, you know, like... Um, running shoes designed for the casual um, athlete okay comfortable and airy and suitable for casual 
Natural Alkins. So well. Let's go. Weekly. Sports. Okay, so something like that. Or if you want to go into more detail, of course, you can do that. Okay, so the next section is the images. Okay, so this is where you add all the product images that you have. Um, so for example, I'm selling uh, this sport uh, shoes. So I'll get uh, my... Alright, so I've saved an image here. You can add one image or more images. Of course, um, when it comes to e-commerce, the more images that you can share with your customers, the better because they they can't physically touch or see products. So you want to um, give them as much uh, visual information as possible, maybe um, different angles of your product. So the next part that you'll fill in is the variance. So here you can add um, your products in different sizes, um, colors, whatever is are the options available for your particular product. Uh, commonly for shoes, we have um, shoes varying in sizes as well as colors. So that's what we can add under variants here. So to add variants, just click on add variants. All right, you have size and then I need one more, which is color. All right, so here um, next to size, okay, if, if you have something different, um, don't worry, you can change this. All right, so change it to anything you want. Okay, so I, I have size here. Okay, so with size, um, maybe I can start with um, 34. Okay, so with every variant, uh, with every option that you add, just and click on enter, and it will automatically add it into um, the product page. Okay, so 35, 36, 37, and so on. Okay, so add as many as you need. Okay, so color, maybe um, I'll have this shoe in black. Or white okay so you have all these variants being created right here okay so once you've added all the variants of your products in the next thing you need to do is add the prices okay so you have all these price fields here to give you the opportunity to add a different price in case um, your product pricing does change according to the variance that you've added. So let's say if you're selling like a 6 inch cake, it's definitely going to be cheaper than an 8 inch cake, right? But with shoes, of course, um, shoes don't actually get more expensive with uh, different sizes or colors typically speaking if if all the products are the same price okay so what i can do here is just add the price let's say it's 199 okay as you can see here when i add the price it will fill up the price as if it was all the same okay but this is just for your convenience in case the price doesn't change if it does feel free to just amend this okay so you can amend this nothing Nothing will happen to the rest of the prices. Okay, so, but for me, um, it's the same. Okay, so same goes to the compare at price. So the compare at price, it simply means the price before discount. So if you want to give um, your customers the impression that they're getting a good deal, you might want to add a compare at price. So let's say um, I'm saying, you know, this, this shoe is selling now for 199 but the retail price is 299 Okay, so maybe I'll just add that in. Okay, again, it will fill up all the prices for all the different variants. But if, if let's say you don't want to, um, if you don't want to add that in, it's fine. You can simply ignore uh, this, this field, okay? So once you fill in the most important information, which is the price, you can look at other fields and see if you want to add more information to them. Okay, so the first one we'll look at is SKU. So if your product comes with an SKU and you want to include the SKU information, so remember to key them in here. All right, so normally um, the SKU will be dependent on your inventory. Okay, how, how you manage your inventory or um, dependent on the uh, manufacturer. Okay, so that depends on you how what um, information you want to put here. Or if you leave it blank, it's fine too. It's not a compulsory field. Um, you could also put in your cost price. Okay, so if you put in your cost price inside Easy Store, um, you get a calculation of your gross profits as well. 
um, next is your barcode so this would be very useful if you're actually going to um, use your store with an offline uh, store or if you're going to use um, easy stores uh, POS system if you're operating totally 100% online you, you don't have to bother with this so the next uh, field again um, this this would really depend on the type of products you sell so by filling in the dimensions and weight this will help you um, with the shipping calculation for your customers later on with shoes definitely will need to fill this in so when customers buy they'll get the the correct shipping rate calculated okay so again let's let's say this is a 20 cm 50 okay i'm just filling in arbitrary arbitrary um, numbers here so um, i'll assume it's 0 0.5 ki kilograms right so you need this um, for the calculations later and finally you have this um, toggle here to enable or disable a variant so if you want to um, stop selling or pause the sales of a particular shoe variant you can do that here so if you don't want to sell this for now okay for some reason you don't want to sell it you just um, disable it okay so if you want to sell everything just keep them um, on by default okay all right, so the next part is variant settings. Okay, so is this a taxable product? Um, in Malaysia, most products are not taxable. So you, you can leave this uh, blank. Next thing is um, you can also configure free shipping. So would this uh, product come with free shipping or not? Okay, you can toggle it here as well. Um, the next thing is the inventory control. Okay, so do you want to track the sales or you don't need to? Okay, so Typically, uh, for physical products, you would want to track the um, inventory of that product. Okay. All right. So final section here is the SEO, search engine optimization. So this is the section where you can configure um, the the wording, um, put in some keywords, so your product gets searched more easily on Google. Okay. So you can do that here. Just um, edit the URL and the meta description okay all right so once you're done here um, you can go up to the right hand side and you see um, that you have three settings for visibility you can either publish schedule or unpublish so if you want the product to appear immediately you would want to keep the publish on by default if you want it to be scheduled for later so let's say you want to um, have this product uh, launch at a specific time later or maybe this is a drop okay you can schedule it or if you want to stop selling it just click on unpublish okay so for for this product i want to keep it on my store i want to continue selling it so i'm gonna keep the publish um option on okay so the next um field is the collections so here um, by default uh, you have the feature on home page home page collection on but uh, we can add more collections okay so for now uh, we'll just keep this default because in a bit i'm going to teach you how to um, create your own collection and then we can add this product there all right but let's say you have already created a collection you can just um, just check the uh, collection that you want to feature this product in all right so let's move on okay so brands okay so you can add the brand here so i don't have specific brand so i'm gonna put brand okay so any brand that you you have let's say it's nike just put nike there puma um, your own brand you can ju you just put your own brand okay if you are a baker um just put your own name there okay fender again um this this would matter if if you have a lot of different uh, suppliers if you don't okay you just put your own um, brand name there okay works just the same um okay then you have tagging tagging is where you can tag a um, add some more details to to this product in, in case you want to categorize it differently so for example um, you can tag this as new um, under 200 sales anything that will help you to categorize this product um, more specifically okay so for this product i might just want to add those okay new um, under 200 
200. Maybe the brand. Okay, so any any tag that you you want, and then finally you have the seller note. This is a note for yourself. Um, so whatever information you want to add here, you can. Okay, so um, for example, this product comes with special packaging. Okay, so now that you've added all the information, um, you can save this product. Alright. Okay, so let's take a look at how it looks um, on the front end. So if you want to preview this in your store, you can check that out. Okay, as you can see here, um, it displays pretty nicely. You have your brand name here, uh, sorry, your product title here, pricing, um, different sizes, okay, color. But one problem is that it looks like it's sold out, okay? Let's, let's take a look at what happened there. Okay, let's go back and then have a look at the edit. Edit that. Okay. Um, so one thing that I've missed out is the inventory. So remember, um, we've toggled the track inventory. Okay, so we have to come back here and make sure that you put at least one in stock. So every okay, so you can add this in based on the stock levels that you have. So uh, arbitrarily, I'm adding uh, ten. All right, so. So remember, the, these will vary depending on the variant. So um, you have to add the inventory level based on the different variants. Okay. So once you have done that, just save it. Okay. Let's take a look at it again. So this particular product is now available for purchase. So I can add it to cart. I can select um, different products. So another thing is you can see here the compare at price. And then the current price and then they also give you an indication of how much uh, savings you're getting with this okay so that's it for the um, product adding a product on your easy store so now let's look at the next part which is the collections page how do you add a collections page what exactly is a collection page and how do you add one to your store so to, to, to add a collections page to your store or just to check out what collections you have, click on collections under the products um, tab. Okay, as you can see, we saw this earlier feature on homepage. Okay, so it currently has one product, which was the product that we added. But let's say we, we, we want to add this to a more specific collection. So collection is just means that um, you're grouping all the all the products under one category okay so this collection is just a way of saying category here all right so um i've mentioned earlier this is a running shoe so maybe i want to add a running shoes collection okay running shoes okay so you you can add just the title if you want to go a bit uh, further you could add a featured image and more content but if not it's, it's fine okay so once you've added this collection, just click on save. Okay, so now you have this um, collection ready, but you don't have any products in here yet. Okay, so how you can start to add products into the collection, just go back to um, the all products. Okay, come here. Okay, so here you'll be able to find um, the new collection which is running shoes right so just check on this click on confirm and then save it all right so that's it um once you've added that uh you can check out your collection now go back to the collections page now you have one uh product there okay so go back here have a look okay yep so as you can see you have one product there all right so that's it uh, for the tutorial today. So you've learned how to create your own product inside Easy Store and then add a collection and add a product to that collection. Hopefully um, you've learned something new today and I'll see you again in the next tutorial.